Terrence P and I am back with another banger and today in this video today I am installing my new carburetor jets um, For my mini bike you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys. This is my first time doing this So y'all be with me if I'm doing something wrong Please help me comment at the bottom and let me know what I'm doing wrong But you guys rock with me right here. Thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in um, New subscriber old subscribe uh, on the road to a hundred subscribers on the road to a thousand I'm trying to get monetized so tell a friend tell a friend but right now folks um I'm gonna show you guys my little setup I got. All right, you guys. So this right here is my 2007 Dually, right here. This guy right here, you see. Now look, this, this does not go here. I broke the pulley one day at the park and the lighter was the only thing that I had that was strong enough. I have not, ro I rolled it to the house, but I have not rolled it since I had put this fellow right here on them. I heard um, somebody had reached out to me the other day and was like, hey man, I had saw your video and you got a lighter by your motor. I'm like, yes, but that lighter is empty. There is really nothing in it. But that was the closest thing that I had with me. If you ride mini bikes, always carry your book bag with you, man, and keep some essentials in there. I did not know that I was going to break that pulley that day. And I did, and I had that lighter with me, and that's the only thing that worked out. Don't beat me up. All right, all right, so let's see. All right, man. So here we go. So these right here, is this right here, the new jets. I'm putting this guys right here. Um, I have to put it in this fella right here. So um, this is my first time doing this again, y'all. So uh, let's do it. Here we go. I also want to say, y'all, I had... um. I had someone ask me why was I changing my carburetor jets. Um, I want to say that I uh, the mini bike has a upgrade on it, and it's uh, actually pushing a little bit more um, airflow and, and gas through these smaller jets. So hopefully these are the the right ones because they're not labeled at all. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to see if I can fire it up and get the body in this out of it right now. But um, we're gonna see. So again, it's my first time doing it, but yeah. Um, everything is upgraded um, except the jets so we're gonna try to figure that out today y'all here we go all right y'all so basically um, this piece right here is your carburetor um, what you want to do um, of course you want to shut off your gas and um, there's an on and off switch right here for the gas and whatnot you want to shut your gas off on this side over here um, and of course, because when you unlock this right here, it'll have some gas leaking out. Now, I do want to say, um, let me get this adapter right quick. And y'all, again, this is my first time doing this on my own. I've watched videos before, but I'm going to try to figure this thing out. Because if I can figure it out, I don't got to pay nobody. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. Wrong way. Uh -oh. Wrong way, and then you probably want to have some close by, man, because this might it probably still some gas might leak up out of there. So Y'all probably want to have some a little close by, and you do it. I had drained the gas out of it, but you gonna see. Here we go. <clears throat> Y'all gotta bear with me, god dang. I'm trying not to, um. Uh -oh. Ooh! Ooh! So as we see, can you guys see that? So basically, there was a little gas still off in here, um, but when I had it on, I actually ran the gas down. So I had ran the gas down earlier, so basically you can just cut the engine on and cut the gas off and just let it run the gas up that's in the carburetor here. As you can see, there's no gas coming out, the, coming out of it now because I had already drained some out. Um, so we're gonna put this to the side here. And I got this little black thing. Y'all probably can't see this, but I got this little bowl. I'm going to stick them two in. And make sure, man, before y'all put that thing back on, you see how that thing crisp clean like that? Because I had I had went through here not too long ago. 
that thing crisp. Make sure that thing crisp clean before you put that thing back on there. Also, too, make sure there's no gunk or anything on the tip of your screw right here, too, now. All right. So, for the fun part, make sure you got you some napkins or something close by, too. You know what I'm saying? Sit that off in there. Okay. So, basically, what you want to do, as y'all can see it up under there, this is your float right here. Your float got a screw on the back too right there. You can take that out, but I ain't gonna take that out today. Uh, let's get that flathead off in here. So basically you wanna get you a flathead. If the flathead too big, it ain't gonna go up on there. Uh -oh. Look at me up here talking about. Hold on, I think this one is a little bit. There you go. I got, I got so many. Yeah, Lee. You know what? I need my little stand, man. I ain't got my stand at all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. That's where I have my little tool set. You know what I'm saying? Got me everything I need. Got me right. By 40 bucks, I harbor freight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you want a flathead, of course. Uh, this one I was using a little bit earlier was a little bit too big. So, I got this one right here. What size is that one here? Hold on, I'm still trying to get these guys situated. What is that? Two fours? And there's a screw, y'all. That's up on the here. Let me see if I can let you guys see it. There's a screw. Like right up in there. Let you guys see that. It's a screw sits right up in there. Right there. Boom. I gotta get it up out of the so let me see something. Hold on, y'all. Oh, here go the screw right here. All right, so let me get this gap out of here. I had a little stand. Sit this thing back up. All right, y'all. So basically, I uh oh, dang, uh oh, hold on, let me get y'all back right. Okay, so basically what you guys see right here, um, I got the screw into the here, and we're gonna unscrew this thing right here. Uh oh, hold on. Uh, let me find it. And y'all, and y'all, if y'all could, man, I'm being a little impatient, so just try to be patient and get this guy up out of here, cause we don't want to, we don't want to screw up nothing. Cause that'd be a pain. So here we go. So the jet is falling. So you got two pieces that's gonna come out, right? You got two pieces that's gonna come out. Usually, sometimes if your carburetor is dirty, this one right here will stay up there. So you have to ding that one a little bit. This piece right here, you see that guy right there? So this piece will always go back in here like this. You see that? And let me get, let me let y'all get a better look at that. So this piece, that piece will go back in there just like how it, how it came out. The two lines at the bottom, one at the top, is gonna go back in there just like that. So I'm gonna sit this to the side. I'm gonna actually sit it right here, standing up so I can remember, cause I forget. Boom, and then let's see about the new jets. Them jets look, they look, they look super close. All right, y'all, let me see. Let's get this, so I got the new jets over here. Man, these things look just alike, man. Hold on. Let me see. That's the new one. 
That's the that's the new one. And then it's the old one. Man, what? <laughs> they, they look just alike. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's one. That's one right there. Let me see if y'all guys can see that. That's one right here. And then here go the other two they sent me. But they look just alike. All right, so I gotta make, I gotta make my best judgment on it. So damn, man. Oh, man. All right. Sit this one here. Boom. All right. So I'm gonna go with my best judgment on this guy right here. And we're gonna see. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this fella back up in here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make sure. I got these, so you want to put them just like this. Grab your screw. Hold on. Look at that. See the difference. Hmm. Man, I'm just gonna put all brand new ones in that thing. Let's go from there. All right, so I'm putting the top piece back in here like this. And then we're gonna grab that thing just like that. Stick this thing up in here like this. And... Hold on. Oh. All right, y'all, so you don't want to screw that thing in that super tight. Screw that little thing off in that bit until it stop. So we got that. So of course, what you do is with your carburetor, man, clean that socket out before you put it back on there. You know what I'm saying? Clean the outside, clean that thing all good, of course. So it's still gonna be popping when you put it back off on there. And that screw you took off the bottom of it too, clean that screw off as well. Yep. Clean that screw. And we're gonna put this guy. Here we go. This one. This one right here. Alright, y'all. Oh no, just like that. Oh yeah. Here we go. You wanna get you a bolt with this bolt here? Three apes? Three apes on their bolt. Here we go. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this right here might not be the best video, but I'm I'm just this is my first time doing something like this. So you can't go. Don't beat me up. Boom. Alright. So here we go. Oh. Y'all wanna hear that soccer crank up? That bitch hold out. I had put, hey man, let me, hey. Damn. Don't do that stupid. All right, so my crazy self just put gas in a red uh, party cup. Don't ever do that. That gas just ate through the bottom of that cup on gang. Uh, yeah, man, I cranked the thing up, man. Here we go. So basically right now, y'all, I got the carburetor and everything back on, right? Um, if you don't see anything leaking at the bottom, you did good. What I'm gonna do right now is get this guy a crank, and we're gonna see if it still bogs. 
them th- I don't know. I'm a little. I'm, a, I'm slightly nervous a little bit because them carburetors. I mean, them jets look the same. Here we go. All right. So what you want to do before you crank the hole? Choke it. Turn the gas on. The lever here and there. Let's see if you give me a one pull. Balling, y'all. It's still bogging. So I ain't got nowhere. Woo. Hmm. Okay. So basically there. Um so I put everything in correctly, of course. I just don't think that the copper those uh jets is big enough. I'm like I gotta order new jets. All right, you guys. So, uh, I, well, let you see what I'm talking about when I say bog. I would like, rawr, rawr, rawr. um, I don't know. I'm gonna take. I'm, 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 I'm gonna bend the block once. But um, yeah, man. Next video. Hopefully, we'll see what's up.